Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it is October 7th of 2019. It's uh, 4 a.m. in the morning. And I am, did I, did I mention, I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, let me preface this, preface, let me start this by saying, uh, I should never reach for words unless, you know, especially since I have a little bit of a hearing problem. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to bet that when I tell you what I'm going to tell you, well, I'd be interested to know, but I don't get enough traffic to my YouTube site. I don't get enough hits, enough views that I could do like a poll or even that we could tell by, I think, the comments. We won't get enough comments. But I would guess that you would be surprised by what I'm going to tell you or I'm going that you're going to be surprised by maybe by what I think. Maybe when I tell you my preconceived notion that I've had for years, that you, uh, it may be that a ton of you, a lot of you are going to say, well, yeah, we know that. That's, that's, you know, what's wrong with you? Don't you know that? And I'm going to have to say, no, no, I don't. Um, I order a lot of stuff. I don't have a lot of discretionary income right now, but I do order a lot of stuff from Amazon, and I have for years, uh, you know, here in Texas, in uh, Florida, and other places. I've, I've ordered a lot of stuff in from Amazon. I had a couple. I can't remember them all. I had, I had one incident where uh, I ordered, uh, can't remember what, it, what I ordered, but it was a nice little mixture of some things, and I was looking forward to getting it, and I got the box, and I opened up the box, and it was somebody else's order, uh, obviously somebody else's order, and I think the people, I think that, I think some, I think maybe the same people, you know, I mean, we got them, they got them switched, maybe those people got my order, and right away, bang, Amazon took care of it, I, uh, I guess they sent me a label, and I just, but at the same time, I think they, I don't even, I don't even think they had to wait for this, the label to be scanned. They immediately sent me, you know. So I've had nothing, and I have, I don't return a lot of items. I'm, I'm one of those people like too. If I go into some business and I get something, uh, I I don't usually return it. I don't use it if I go and eat someplace in a restaurant, and if they say I don't drink coffee, but if they say Oh, is your coffee, uh, you know, hot enough? And everything, everything's fine. You know, when I go to check out, when I go to pay, if it's a, a lot of times the cashier will say, oh, was everything okay? Everything fine? I No matter what, you know. And if I go someplace and like the food is bad or whatever, I don't, I, I have never ever, you know, if if I ask for, I don't order steaks very often, you know, but if, if I ask for a steak well done and it comes bloody, I just eat it. And I never send something back to be, you know, which that's fine. If, you, if you're if you capable of doing that, uh, I think I only dated a woman, this one woman a couple of times. And uh, like we were, that was our first date. And we were eating and she said, oh, such, and I said something. And she called over, you know, the... Uh, you know, for my, and I said, that's fine, you know, to, you know, she called and over and complained, and then when we were checking out, you know, at the uh, cashier, uh, the cashier said, is everything fine, was everything fine, I said, fine, you know, and, the, and she said, you know, no, it wasn't, and whatever, you know, it's, and that was, you know, I, I'm just not that kind of a person, I'm an easygoing, don't, you know, uh, but, um, so anyway, I don't return it, return it. There's a bunch of items that I've got that have been, you know, inexpensive or whatever from Amazon or whatever. But I have sent, you know, I did get a uh, Panasonic camera. I think it was like five or, I think, you know, it, 
over five hundred dollars, and I had it about, you know, I very I didn't use it really. I mean, I I got it, looked at it a little bit, put it on the shelf, and maybe took a couple of pictures, made a video, you know, for YouTube or whatever. Very little use, and then it was about twenty eight days, I think, and uh, the camera just stopped working. I mean, error message popped up. I've never had a I've had cameras since I was in grade school. Photography's always been uh, uh, an interest of mine. And uh, I never had a camera ever break. Of course, I really take good care of my cameras, like books, you know, tablets, cell phones. I mean, they don't get dents on. I mean, you know, I, I'm really careful with my, the stuff that I like, that I'm interested in, shortwave radios and ham radios and that type of stuff. Uh, but uh, so it's very rare. For, but anyway, I had a Panasonic camera, an expensive one. I had it 28 days. I hadn't hardly used it four or five times. And, uh, you know, I logged into Amazon and went that, you know, that I put in the code or they asked, you know, the thing, what was wrong or whatever. I put, as soon as I did, bang, you know, they sent me the label, you know, I Closed the box up. They sent a label, slapped a label on it. Soon, about as soon as it got scanned, the money went into my account before they actually got it. You know, it was just scanned. I got it, uh, got my money, and then turned around and bought another camera. Didn't buy the same one. I would still like to have that camera, but I never had a camera break before, so I'm afraid to order that camera. But, uh, so I have, you know, I have refused, a few, uh, refused. I have returned a few items to Amazon, but I should be, I mean, I'm sure if there was some type of thing they keep track of, I, there probably maybe isn't, I don't know, but I should be like, oh, they should be like, this is a good customer, you know? Well, to what I've t told myself and told family members and everybody else, hey, order from Amazon, and uh, if there's any kind of a problem, you know, you just, uh, you know, you just return it, and you get your, uh, you know, or they'll probably send you a label if you return it, and you'll get your, you know, it'll, it'll be going to, back to them, but they'll give you, you put your money back in your account, you can purchase the correct one or another one or whatever. In fact, just, uh, well, I think it was the day before yesterday, I just haven't been listening on my ham radio for months, really. I just happened to flip the ham radio on and and tune in some repeaters, and some guys were talking on the repeater, and uh, one of the guys said, oh, my, uh, forget which, well, he mentioned the, the radio's name the ham radio uh, HD, uh, he said, oh, my, rate, my such and such broke, my new one. And he says, I'm going to have to, I forget what he said, because I really wasn't listening that good at, and at that point. And then the other guy says, isn't that the radio you got from Amazon? And the guy says, yeah, you're right, I got that. And then the other guy on the radio says, all you got to do is just contact them and, and they'll refund your money or make it right. And he says, yeah, that's right, I... I buy from Amazon all the time, and yeah, that's okay, great, everything's just fine. Uh, so, my story being, I thought that just about everything that you purchased, you could, that Amazon was going to make it good, and you weren't going to have a problem, and that you could just return it. Now, I admit... Uh, I usually buy, I don't, well, I don't buy used items or the, re, you know, ones that you see. Sometimes they're good deals, you know. Something with minor has just been used a little bit. I've seen cell phones and ham radios and even cameras that were like, hey, I could save up. But I always buy, I don't buy the ones that are, anyone that says it's refurbished. <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, so, I just really thought in my mind that anything I buy from Amazon just can be returned and they're going to take care of it and they're going to fix it and it's going to be no problem. 
So my ex, ex-wife who lives with me and my grown son, and we share the expenses on this apartment, two bedroom, two bathroom apartment. Um, she's confined to a wheelchair and we've gone through, she's gone through a number of wheelchairs. They just don't hold up. Uh, they're, you know, made in China, uh, whatever. And she's had trouble, uh, and she's called like local places trying to get wheelchairs and they want to uh, they they're used to people now she has health care insurance she has medicare insurance of course uh but she just she has trouble getting them you know she's been paying for her all uh paying for her own wheelchairs instead of getting one, you know, with insurance and one with, uh, or at least with a payment, I mean, you know, with partial. She just has a hell of a time getting a wheelchair. So anyway, she, uh, and she's bought a couple, at least a couple, I think, I know, or maybe more through Amazon, but had no problem. So uh, she ordered this wheelchair the other day. Uh, and this is what she wanted. And she researched it very carefully. And this is what she wanted. This is the exact one. They had some others that were that she'd had before that the seat rips almost immediately on the thing. It's like plastic. And I mean, it's... Uh, so... She ordered this, and she ordered it on October third. And they, they, you can see here, they said that it was going to arrive between October eleventh and seventeenth. And it, you know, it wasn't a prime delivery item, also. So almost immediately, it arrived uh, a few days ago, way before the October eleventh. We're not even there yet, and I thought that was. Uh, I even mentioned to her, I said, wow, they, they shipped this out real fast. I, 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 I said, I hope that they, uh, you know, had the one that you, you know, ordered. I hope it wasn't a thing of like, oh, well, you know, those haven't arrived from China yet. And, uh, but we have this. Or so. I, have, I said, I hope it's not something like that. Anyway, the uh, wheelchair arrived. And uh, the box was all smashed up, had a puncture in it. It looked like maybe a forklift had gone into it. So the box was all smashed up. And it came UPS. And we opened up the box. And bef- she could even, before we got it out of the box, she could see that it was not. She was one that she'd had before that only lasted two or three weeks before it the plastic started ripping and she was afraid that she would fall through. And that one she didn't return or try to, you know, she just, uh, you know, ate the loss. And then when uh, the wheelchair was pulled out over here, the spoke, one of these spokes here was totally broken out, laying in the box. So... She was upset, of course, and then I logged in to do the, you know, return thing, and I clicked on, uh, well, let me go over here, and I'll click on it, I guess, and let me click on, uh, okay, no, this is their web page. Okay, let me go, well, I'll, I'll just skip it. Anyway, I clicked on the thing where you have the box that you normally see, and I clicked on uh, return uh, item they have like four or five things listed you know but I clicked on the return item and this pops up this item isn't eligible for return so then you click on see return policy and here you have a to a z or whatever about our return policies and they I didn't look at all these but uh I 
I did look at one, and I'm not sure if I could, if I uh, looked at what, what category I clicked on, but it was like if the item is um, over a hundred dollars and not shipped from our warehouse, then you have to go through the thing. Now for this wheelchair, <clears throat> the uh, option, the option that came up for us was you uh, click on the box and enter in the information that you have to deal with the uh, the company that Amazon doesn't uh, has you know basically has nothing to do with it. And four hundred characters you can enter in. And so I really didn't want to enter in the thing because I was afraid that my ex-wife was going to, she gets kind of emotional over some things. And I thought if I enter in, then she's going to say, why, if you hadn't have put that in, if you'd have put this in or something else, then they would have fixed it or taken care of it or whatever. So I said, uh, uh, Dar, I said, uh, here's the situation. But I'm going to let you put in the 400 characters uh, when she could get to her computer uh, to do it. But so you have 400 characters to put in. But anyway, I told her, I said, OK, if if we put in or if you put in, you sent the wrong wheelchair, I think they're going to say, no, we sent the correct wheelchair. I think if if you when you put in that uh, it was the box was damaged and it was broken, I think they're going to say you need to contact, you know, UPS service, or you shouldn't have accepted a box that had damage done to it. And I said I I can't believe you know. So <clears throat> anyway, later that day, so as it now stands, she has a wheelchair that is. Uh, cracking big time she has to go to the doctor and I think a couple of days you know by wheelchair <clears throat> and her seat is so broken here that uh, she's afraid it may break with her on it uh, she you know she's confined to you know she's either in her bed or she's in her wheelchair there isn't any other uh, options when she's at her computer the wheelchair you know I tried to talk her into it. I said you know there's a we can get a, a board where you can you know you can scoot over we'll get the chair no she uses a wheelchair I said you know so uh, but uh, so anyway my daughter Hillary who lives in the same apartment complex that we do she came over and uh, I was in my room and I heard her voice and I thought she was talking to Darlene in the kitchen. But she came in. I went in there and Hillary was looking at the side of the box and on the phone talking to Amazon and, uh, you know, reading off the order number or whatever. And the Amazon person said, uh, you know, we're, we're, you know, you don't need to contact the company. You know, this lady says, I will contact the company on Monday and I will get this taken care of you. And how do you want to handle this? Do you want them to send you another or do you want a refund and uh, whatever? And then the lady says, you know, I will be calling you back myself, you know, on Monday. So we may be getting this taken care of, but uh, we wouldn't have if Hillary hadn't come in and She's reading off the, the box and uh, calls and talks to Amazon and gets this lady and uh, whatever. But I really thought that just about everything was just click and Amazon would take care of it. So this is sort of a warning to you. Uh, now, 
we haven't purchased like a, you know, a refrigerator or a stove or air conditioning unit. Or now, I do have a son who has purchased uh, auto parts, and so when we, I was telling him the other day about this, and he says, "Oh yeah," he says, "Like auto parts." Uh, you uh, need a hanky here. Uh, they're not, they don't have any, you know, you don't have that kind of a return policy with your, you're on your own, you know, whatever, for auto parts. Uh, and I think he said it was auto parts that had electronic components in it, but I'm not sure. But so maybe I'm one of the few people in the world <laughs> who did not know that you can purchase from uh, that. Uh, you can purchase from Amazon, and it's not going to be okay. Well, no problem. I'm getting it from Amazon, and I'll just uh, it. I'll turn. I'll return it right away. I'll. Uh, yeah, I guess it depends on. So I guess that's probably also one of this these things of uh, when you see Prime. I think that means you're probably okay. Uh, uh, you see some items sometimes that you know are not Amazon Prime, and my uh, son-in-law in an email he mentioned that uh, he always tries to purchase Amazon Prime object things, and he even if it's cheaper, if there's two, in which I I do it myself, and I'm on very limited income. If there's an Amazon Prime item and some other item, you know, I I think I always go also with the Amazon. So just be, I guess before you purchase, maybe there's some way to check or just be aware of, uh, you might let me know, by the way, what, what you, if you knew, you know, or if, maybe deep down, maybe we all knew, we just knew it was, we knew it was safe maybe to, if you're getting stuff like we have here in Fort Worth, there is a, uh, maybe it's in Dallas, there is a Fort Worth uh, Amazon warehouse. And so I order things and get them delivered the same day or the next day, and it's really great. I've been very happy with Amazon's prime service and very happy over all the years but this is kind of scary uh, and this wheelchair thing is a problem for the ex you know for the ex-wife she doesn't have much money and these wheelchairs just fall apart you know they are not uh, I spent 30 years working hospital security and the hospital wheelchairs, they were in, like she said, I told her, although they, you know, the, the hospital wheelchair, I know they cost more, but, and she said, oh, well, they're just very rarely used. I said, no, they're used 24-7. Maybe on the midnight shift, there's sitting, I, a lot of them are sitting idle, but they're used all the time. And uh, I told her I didn't do it because I don't like to, bother friends and whatever I, I worked with a security officer and he worked uh, we worked at the same hospital and he has an identical twin who also worked at that hospital in fact I hired in there and I met Max you know and everything and then a day or two later I was and then I saw I thought uh, wow why is Max here on this shift and he's not in uniform also and I don't know if I said to somebody, maybe I went in the office or something, I said, just saw my, <laughs> that's Max's twin brother. I said, oh, I didn't know he had an identical twin. But anyway, his uh, brother worked in purchasing. And, uh, I mean, he wasn't director of purchasing or even the assistant director of the department or whatever. But he actually had a pretty good, a pretty good job. And I forget. I know he, well, he did, I think he did a lot of stuff for the hospital. 
And like one of the things he did was keep track of everything purchased, you know, when it was purchased, what kind of guarantees it had. And he also had to, it was dealing with purchasing, but once it was purchased, he had all this kind of information. And then if something broke or there was a problem, whatever, he would look it up and then he would know whether the hospital could get a free replacement and do all that kind of stuff. So he was big into that. And I thought, you know, uh, Max's brother, I could contact him and say, you know, where does the hospital buy these really good and how much do, you know, how much do they cost? That might be the, <laughs> that might be the problem. It might be, I have no idea. It might, might be a thousand dollars for a wheelchair. I mean, I have no idea what the hospitals pay for, you know, for those type of things. Uh, this hundred and seventy-seven dollars. That's a lot of money for my ex-wife. And uh, anyway, you might let me know below. I hope you're not all going to say. Um, of course, there's not that many of you, you know, coming here. But I hope you're not all going to say, "Oh, well, yeah, everybody knows that." You know, maybe my mind at seventy-eight is. Uh, my my mother had Alzheimer's. Maybe uh, maybe Alzheimer's is setting in, but I am going to be carefully thinking now. I'm not going to have that mindset of oh no problem I'll just order that, and if it's not okay or whatever I just send it back. But anyway, thank you. Uh, well, okay, wait a minute. Let's see. Um, you know I got to give you the pitch. No, don't hang on. Don't. You know, touch, don't touch that mouse. Uh, YouTube. YouTube. Anyway, there's my, uh, there's my channel. Let me show you the, uh, you know, please click on the subscribe and also the bell. Um, so you get notices. I still have not reached the 3,000 subscribers. <laughs> and I started started in uh, 2005 when uh, YouTube first, first started. Let's go to, uh, okay. Go to videos. Okay. I checked on this. Uh, do, do you have an ID? My um, I think my son has. Well, now I can't remember. I checked with him. I know my my daughter Hillary her driver's license Texas driver's license it does have the star it's approved my state ID from Texas is not approved I'll need to you know do an upgrade of it uh, I actually logged in to do it on the online uh, upgrade for the ID and uh, it let me their site had a little, a little bit of a few problems but anyway I uh, I went through it and then I went and took out something because it wouldn't let me you know so I went and took out something and then put it in and then it let me go and then it was we have to verify you and then they ask for the last I think if I remember correctly the last four of my social security or else I'd already put in anyway so then it comes down to those questions like, uh, have, have you ever lived in the following places? And it listed like three states and then none, you know, and it listed Missouri and I clicked on Missouri. Okay, we go on to the next thing. Uh, did you ever, a street or something like that? Okay, I clicked on that street. Okay, then it asked a question and it was like, I forget what the question was. I was, no, I clicked on that. And then it uh, 
do I don't own a car by the way <laughs> haven't owned one in a long time then it says uh, uh, do you own any of the following three car you know any one of the then uh, and then I looked at it and I saw it, it was um, not an Impala what was it it was a car that I had I had owned a car like that that same car in the past and I thought you know I don't own it and the question was you know do you own this not did you ever own it and I'm thinking I know what's going to happen here so I clicked you know don't have that car and then sorry we don't have we don't have the correct in, you know and so I'm going to have to I don't know how I'm going to have to do it but I've got a year or two uh get that taken care of I uh, my ex-wife has no ID at all uh, I mean she has her Medicare card and her insurance card or whatever but she has no driver's license she has no state ID and I told her okay you know this is something and she said I, I, I don't need it you know I can uh, and I said yeah and she says why would I need it and she had, by the way, a couple of times, but she has, she had cancer. She is now cancer free, has been for quite a while. But anyway, I said, well, you know, say you go to the doctor and the doctor does a test and the doctor says, oh, my gosh, you have such and such. You're going to have to go to the manager clinic or someplace in another, you know, another state. There's only the doctor there can take care of or do this or do that or whatever. And I said, and then if you go to the airport, they're going to say, you know, sorry, over in this room over here. And then she says, well, I'll just show my uh, Medicare card and I'll show my uh, where I've paid, you know, or I have a bill coming to a couple bills coming to this address or whatever. And I said, that won't do it. You have to have a birth certificate. You're going to have to have, you know, either a passport, or you're going to have to have, a, you know, it's. So anyway. By the way, I do want to mention something else because I laid them out here. Um, let me go back to uh, Amazon. Go back to uh, orders. Here it is. This is, uh, I have Logitech mouse, the G90, what is it, the 502 Hero or something? Where's the camera here? There you go. Um, and I purchased this, and it has sort of, it's a, uh, Google, uh, or is it, uh, I think it's the, uh, I think this is the uh, recommended, you know, has a sort of a uh, slick thing, and the mouse slides on it very easily, and it makes a little bit of noise, but it slides on it very easily. But you know, uh, from time to time, whoops, this is the uh, three that I bought. From time to time, I feel, and I think sort of maybe here on this pad here, It's like a grinding sound, like there's sand or something wrong with the surface. And I don't see anything wrong with the surface. It doesn't happen all the time. I can't, uh, I can't repeat it. I mean, if I go over the same area, it doesn't happen, but it just happens from time to time. So I... Uh, of course, this is... I have several of these. 
I reviewed them, I think, you know. I have this one. And uh, this is the Peckham, P-E-C-H-A-M. And uh, the mouse slides very well over, you know, over it. And it's, you know, it's quite large. So, but uh, I decided, because Amazon is so wonderful or whatever, I placed an order, and this is all I actually placed an order for. Got it the next day, or was it the same day? I think it was the same. No, it was free delivery. Oh, they says free delivery tomorrow. But I got it three for eight dollars and eighty-five cents, and. Uh, So I've got now they're kind of small, but that it works out. It works out okay for me. But there seems like there's a little bit of lag. It's not as smooth. Seems like a little, and I'm so tired, <laughs> so weak, so lazy that I was like, oh my god. Uh, but anyway, I have three of these. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, I guess I, I don't think I can go back to this right now because, yeah, I have a, I've hooked up my second monitor, and this would not fit in the space that I have because of the monitor over here. So this one is out, and. Yeah, okay. This one would fit in there, but half of this would fall underneath of my keyboard. And I'm not sure, if, I'm kind of finicky. I'm not sure if because one end would be a little bit higher because of the, so I'm not sure. So I may just keep using this and try to uh, be a man and have the energy to push this mouse back and forth. Ah, so that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching.